Hey everybody, this is PopThatCorn14 here. I haven't done a video review since 2017, so this has been a while for me. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I want to try and get back into it. Uh, of course, I'll see where I go with this and like, you know, see the pace and I want to go at. So we'll just see how it goes from there. Um, hopefully I do sound a lot better these days. Hopefully it's not like all over the place. Um, and I definitely want to approach things a lot differently in the future, not sound as harsh as I did. So if I ever come across that way, then just understand that I don't mean it. And, you know, back then I was way more into this than I am now because I'm a lot busier. So please do forgive me if I do sound out of character, if I sound rude or harsh. It is not intentional and I, I don't intend to put anybody down. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and review this level by, uh, El Cabanus, he used to be Perzimek back in the days, and he recently had a featured level called Fuzzy Caverns. I haven't played it yet, but I kind of figured, you know, I'd just go ahead and get into it and just kind of see how things um, have been going with him and what his levels have entailed. I've seen some of them, they look pretty good. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So this is uh, a level revolved around fuzzies. I've already played this once, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, you know, I, I kind of just wanted to see what I get, was getting myself into. Okay, so... Hey Mario, that's horrible. Fuzzies are wrecking havoc in the whole neighborhood. In the past, they were living under the ground, in the abandoned mine. But something is making them leave this place. I think you should go check it out, Mario. Oh, uh, real quickly. Real quickly. Um... I know you didn't intend for that, but that's not really good design right there. Not a big deal, I mean, you could just put like a visible wall or whatever. I think it could have worked for like a Easter egg for like a dragon coin. I really like the sound for this, by the way. It's very fitting for this section of the level. And the checkpoint's right here. Here we go. Also, I do like the music. Alright. That's a weird choice of, uh... I think that's lava over there on the left side. It looks a little weird. I mean, I I'm not really sure what to say about it. I'm gonna try and get all the dragon coins. I'll kind of see what I can do with them. Also, I probably might die a lot. This level is not easy. Well, there is the first... hit. And also, the aesthetics so far look pretty good. Good challenge right here. One of the things I do like about this level is it utilizes the formula. Uh, what, I be what I mean by that is, you know, you take like one idea and then you just basically uh, use it in different ways. So far, it's looking really good. Okay, here's this. That is very janky. I, I have no idea why that killed me. My recording's kind of lagging a little bit, so I might die. That is a very good section, by the way. Oh, also, um, <laughs> this is a cutoff right here. <laughs> it's very minor. I'm going to take off an entire star for that. <laughs> Just kidding, obviously. I don't remember if I did that back on Level Palace, if I took off for... Like, one cutoff. I may have. I don't really... Oh, okay, I suck. Alright, finally. Alright. I do like this section, by the way. Like, gives the big fuzzy its own area to work with. Oh. Got some spikes going on. Okay, and then... We don't use it at the beginning, so we gotta take it with us. Interesting, so I played- the first time I played this, one of them, like, exploded. I don't know why. I'm gonna wait for this. I'm gonna play carefully. I think that's six tiles high, so I don't think this can be cheesed. Oh boy, this. Dude, I got this the first time when I did this. Holy shit. Oh, is it because I- I think it was because I was hitting X. 
Wait, is that why, actually? I'm learning so much about this game. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I got zoned out there. That was kind of my fault. <laughs> okay. Now, you're supposed to go in the center here. Um, I tried ducking, because like in SMF, what you could do is you could actually duck and then just stand right back up, but you can't do it in this. You can do that. Also, I like how they fall off there, over there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> well, uh... I don't know, I feel like they should do something about the warp. You know, not hidden uh, up. Because I hit that like 20 different times. Actually, probably even more than 20. Holy crap, I made it. You know, in Mario Maker, I'd probably lose my power up there. <laughs> Uh, I'll go on this side. So far, though, I'm really liking this level. Also, I don't know if I got all the dragon coins. I suck. Yeah, that's gonna happen. <laughs> okay, here's this section. Oh, I didn't see that. Whoops. Let's do this again. Okay, we did it. Reset door. Alright, time to die. I've died a lot. Yep. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And I do have my mushroom this time. Wait. Perfect! Let's go! I got it. Okay, so when I played this last time, that one of the fuzzies just like flew to the right side, so unfortunately you don't get to see it here. Okay. Boom Boom. Ah, you stupid plumber. You're always ruining my plans. But not this time. I've got my whole army of brainwashed minions that will help me fulfill my plans of changing this abandoned mine into my new secret base. Think your stupid power-ups? Or think you can face me with your stupid power-ups? Pathetic. Take the challenge, you fool. I mean, I don't have a choice, dude. <laughs> okay, Talking Flower says... You'll have to spin jump on fuzzies in the boss room so that you don't fall into lava. Don't do this immediately after entering the room, though. Good luck! Alright, let's do this. Time to edit the footage out a lot. Yep. <laughs> I am clearly good at video games. Nah, we're not going to edit this one out, though. Um, But I, I will die a lot here. I don't like how you don't have enough time to react to that. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, you do have time, but it's like, it's not just that, but it's like, you don't, like, get enough wiggle room. That's like one of the downsides I don't like about this area. And also, the fuzzies are really janky. Um. Oh, God, why did I do that? <sighs> well, be right back. Okay, got it. Um, so one thing I wanted to say... Oh wait, did I not get the other dragon coin? Well dang, I didn't get it. Um, one thing I did want to say was the, uh, Boom Boom fight itself was very janky. I don't think... Yeah, I couldn't show it here, but on my last playthrough... Hold on, let me, uh... I'm gonna put this in the editor, and we can go ahead and talk about, like, what I, what I think about the level and, you know, what I think could be improved, because... Some of the setup you do have throughout the level is kind of janky, but I know it's not entirely your fault. The game can be quite doo-doo when it comes to that. Um, so yeah, this part, I know it's not your fault, but maybe you could like cover that up better, so that way, uh... I mean, because you can access that by spin jumping. I mean, like I said, it's not like that big of a deal, but it's just, you know, it's kind of weird that you'd have to die that way. Oh, I guess that's where the dragon coin is. Wait, how do you get there? Bonus room? Yeah, unfortunately I missed that. Oh, is that it? Dang, I missed that. Well, that's my fault. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and talk about the level itself, because I, I do really like this level. It has a lot of unique challenges, and it's really good. 
Um, okay, so I want to show you this boss. Yeah, okay, perfect. That's kind of what I wanted to show. Uh, your setup here is quite janky. I don't know how often it's janky, but... Hold on, let's go back to that. But a lot of times when I, like, when I first played this, I died a lot because of that. I know it's not your fault, and I know the game can be kind of wonky when it comes to the physics, but I feel like maybe you could have set this room up a little better. I don't know, it's not like that big a video like I said, but it just, it kind of ruins the flow you have going here. And I don't really like how you uh, had the player approach this room. I mean, again, it's a good idea, and I do, I do see that you're being creative with the boom room here, but there's just not enough indication given, and I know you have the platform falling down, but there's just not enough space. I mean, you can defeat this fight without getting hit, sure. But it's not really perfect, you know? Like, I think it's more just level jank, really, if you want to call it that. And, you know, to be honest, I think it wasn't just this section that suffered with the jankiness. I think other sections followed it, too. So I think maybe your, your structure, your layout could have been a tiny bit better. Uh, but, I mean... It's not like that big of a deal. Like this fuzzy, for instance, I like the challenge there. Um, that I wasn't trying to point that out for the uh, jankiness, though. However, I do want to point out, like, I don't know, because I think like with this section right here, uh, I can't, I can't really show you, but when I first played this level, one of them exploded on me, and I don't know if that was caused by my trampoline or if it was just because, like, I'm not sure what exactly it caused it. And I'm sure this isn't the only fuzzy that had weird interactions. Um, also, a very, very minor cutoff. Uh, right here. Right here. I'm taking off a whole star for that. One entire star is going to be deducted because you left one minor cutoff. You should be ashamed of yourself, Alkebanus. Now. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Back into the level itself, so yeah, it's really good, and I really do like this level, and it's very creative. I like the transition you had at the beginning with the, the fuzzies as you enter the cave. It's really cool. This isn't the map, but I want to show what it looks like, because I think it's a very nice transition to introduce the level and the theme. It's not this one. Um, I guess with this section, too, it's kind of janky a little bit with how the fuzzies move. Like, this guy can just go... Not like that, but, you know, he won't he wouldn't go in the black area, he would just, like, hit the wall. It's still a good idea, and I know it's not your fault when it comes to that. Nothing really feels blind, either. I know this is a vertical section, and, uh, you know, it's kind of, like, one of the things with vertical sections is, you know, blind jumps can be a common theme. Your, uh, your challenges do give enough, you know, time for the player to interact, so... Honestly, I think you did a good job there. Okay, uh, beginning. I think this is the transition I was- Yeah, this is the transition. Really cool, by the way, and I like the sound for that. Anyway, um, I think four and a half stars will suffice on this level. The only real issue I have with this level is that boom boom room. Uh, I mean, your level, like, in some areas, quite janky. Like, especially that boom boom fight. I think you could have redone that area. I feel like that was like the only downside of this level. And, you know, compared to the rest of the level, that was definitely a major difficulty spike. Not a bad thing for levels to do that, especially with a boss fight. I think, you know, it can be quite interesting depending on the layout. Like, for example, your level follows the perfect formula with these fuzzies. And what I really like about this level is that it doesn't just use the same challenge over and over again. It uses the same enemy but differently each time. This is what more levels on level share square need to have. And your level is a great example of this. And I think people should take a great example of this. So that's going to my favorites. And you're getting a four out of five or 4.5 out of five. Just, you know, tweak the boom, boom fight up a little bit and your level will be a perfect rating. And with that out of the way, that will be my first review in seven years. Take care.